What is up guys, welcome to a brand new video. I'm getting this thing started on intro before the track goes hot. We are finally out at Sebring Raceway. So we'll be driving Vader out here, no changes to the car since the last videos you've seen. We're just gonna pray it keeps together and have a fantastic time. Let's get this video started. just got done with session one uh, this is my first time it's gonna be a little loud background noise it's my first time running Sebring the full track I ran it with Skip Barber racing school and it was the modified track so definitely a much more condensed track the car it's it's just so capable man it, it's a it's a, honestly a disappointment on my behalf that I can't really showcase what this car can do um, it's a very uh, historic track very old very dated in the sense that they they've never repaved it or anything like that so it's very bumpy and it takes some adjusting to get used to how bouncy my car is we're going to try to make some adjustments to it now um, there's gonna be a car passing by in just a second we're going to make some adjustments to it see if it benefits me in any way i'm feeling a bit more comfortable i made some seat adjustments from my last track session where i basically kept the, the back lumbar support basically back in the recline position as I was driving through the town. Lifted it back up and now my helmet's kind of hitting the roof so seats are coming soon. Uh, but it was really fun. The car did phenomenal. Oil temps never up over 230. Coolant temp never over 220. So the car's doing great. I just got to get more comfortable. My first session out, I finished off at a 239 which is slow for this car but happy on my behalf on what I put down the first time. Um, 
It is a colder day out, so it took a minute for the car to warm up. I'm still on my Michelin Pilot Sport, so obviously not the stickiest tire, but a decent tire. Um, so we're gonna hang out. I'm gonna check the catch can, check the oil levels, and then just kind of wait it out to the next session. Think about, review the Garmin video, check, think about what I can do better, and get back out there.
All right, good news, bad news. Bad news is, well, let's start with the good news. Good news is my lap times are going down every single time I'm out on session. We just wrapped up the third session. We're on lunch break. That's why it's so quiet now. Bad news is I sent her a little bit too hard. Snapped the front lip right off. Um, damaged Morimoto Fogs, Morimoto LEDs. I mean, it could end up be a lot worse and I could be without a car. We just jacked it up, checked on the red because we smelled a little bit of coolant, but everything seems to be okay. Um, my confidence is a little shook, but I knew from the get-go on that session that I was in some kind of trouble. The car's, uh, here, let me doom this up. The car was definitely um, slipping and sliding. My air pressure was way too high. My tires were way too hot. So we're gonna redo this one more time. See how I feel, definitely be a slower session this time. Just getting comfortable, making sure the tires are doing okay. And we'll keep trying to send it. A few moments later. So when you have an oh shit moment like I did, where it basically drove the car off track, when we did some re when we took a look at the car, looks like I broke the bottom radiator sport, the car's not gonna be back on track. You end up becoming the glorified photographer for the rest of you guys, because hey, support your friends. We're all out here having a good time. Sure, my car's down, but it doesn't mean I can't enjoy my friend's successes as they're having fun. So I got myself here a 100 to 400 millimeter. I'm gonna try to get some banger photos and some banger video content of the cars coming down the front stretch. So I'll post some of the pictures here. Let me know what you guys think. So I'm really trying to hide from the sun here, but end of the day, we stayed all the way to the last session. Obviously I didn't get to run past lunch. After my lunch session is when I had the accident with the car. Um, it put me out of, out of racing because I did shift the radiator out of the radiator, lower radiator support. So there's clearly some damage there that definitely was not safe to put the car back on the track and I wasn't gonna try to repair it here. So I had a good time recording the guys and spending time with them and, and getting to ride with Phelps Garage and his car. I'll post a video about that coming soon. But overall, it was a really good track session with the exception of what happened to the Corvette. So I'm really, really happy. I can't wait to be here the next time. I just gotta take this thing home, take it apart, see the extent of the damage, see how quickly we can repair it and get back out on track. If you haven't yet, like, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.